hope everybody's good. Um, we are back with a uh, Blu-ray blowout for the month of August. Um, this month is a good month for me, um, and I really didn't actually intend to get much this month, but I ran into some pretty good deals, um, you know, and had some people liquidating some of their collections, uh, so what wasn't supposed to be such a good month for me, pickup wise, actually turned out, uh, to be pretty good, so, awesome there, um, so, we got 35 big pickups here for you, and, um, got a bit of everything, got, uh, got some scary stuff, got some mushy stuff, uh, got some action stuff, um, so, a little bit of everything, so, without any further ado, let us get rolling. First, we've got the Chernobyl Diaries. Always heard about this one, uh, but never seen it. And when I saw it, it was only five dollars. So pulled the trigger. I'm looking forward to watching this one because I always wanted to see this, just never had the chance. Next is a movie that I remember watching when I was a kid. Uh, it's kind of a chick flick. Uh, Holly Hunter, Richard Dreyfuss, John Goodman, um, pretty good movie to me, always. Um, this one, like I said, is a throwback to childhood, so I'm looking forward to actually uh, going back and uh, reliving this one. Next, another movie I've seen before, but it's been a while. Uh, can't wait to relive this one. Um, it's been on Blu-ray for a while, and I'm going to pick it up for a while. I'm just waiting for the price of it to drop. Um, and once it dropped below $15, I went ahead and pulled the trigger because I figured it probably wouldn't drop any further than that. And that is Leonardo DiCaprio in uh, Martin Scorsese film, The Aviator. Um, this, I remember watching it when it first came out, thought it was really good, uh, it'd be fun to go back and relive this, plus it has a ton of special features, um, uh, it's got a, uh, commentary by Scorsese, a deleted scene, making of, uh, role of Howard Hughes in Aviation History, um, Howard Hughes, um, and the, uh, role of obsessive compulsive disorder, uh, let's see, visual effects featurette, um, constructing the aviator, uh, scoring the aviator, um, Aviator in the Age of Glamour, and the theatrical trailer. Pretty awesome, uh, for what was a pretty awesome movie from what I remember. Alright, next, we have Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Again, never seen this, but I've always wanted to. It dropped below 10 bucks, and I pulled the trigger. And being the completest that I am, again, same thing with this one, dropped below 10 bucks. Had to get it. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Um, part 2. So, looking forward to watching these. Uh, next, we have... Reese Witherspoon, Robert Pattinson, and Christoph Wentz in another movie. Looking forward to seeing. Always heard about it. Thought it, heard it was pretty good. Just never uh, actually saw it. That would be Water for Elephants. Uh, next is a movie that I've seen, uh, but again, it's been a while. Uh, I can't wait to go back and relive it. Um... 
it's a Clint Eastwood director movie uh, letter from Iwo Jima. Uh, got a ton of special features on this one too. Got the 2006 premiere footage uh, from Tokyo. Uh, 2006 press conference to uh, do press for the film. Uh, Red Sun, Bad Sun, the leaking of letters from Iwo Jima. Um, Faces of Comet, the cast of Iwo Jima. Uh, the photography of letters from Iwo Jima. Um, and yeah, so awesome. Can't wait to watch this. Next, we have Robert Pattinson, um, Emily De Raven, Chris Cooper, uh, Lena Owen, and Pierce Brosnan in Remember Me. Always wanted to see this, never have. It was below 15 bucks, so picked it up. Next, we have James Franco and Seth Rogen. In the interview, had to get this because I wanted to see it after all the uh, controversy. Um, can't wait to sit down and watch this. Plus, I like Seth Rogen, so. Alright, next we have uh, Al Pacino in Sea of Love. Again, this is one I saw when I was a young, young kid, and I probably shouldn't have seen this when I did when it first came out, but I liked it, um, and it'd be fun to go back and relive this. It has deleted scenes, uh, the creation of Sea of Love, um, a feature commentary, and the theatrical trailer. Next, we have the Towering Inferno with Steve McQueen, Paul Newman, William Holden, Faye Dunno and Faye Dunaway. There that is. It's got a ton of uh, special features here. It's got audio commentaries, um, Inside the Tower, um, We Remember, um, Innovating the Tower, special effects feature. Uh, still the world, world's tallest building. Bunch of just a ton. There's too much to go through here. So, looking forward to getting into this one. Alright. We all know that I'm a completist. Um. So when I can find two films or a, any number of films together that are part of a series, I will definitely uh, pick them up, whether one sucks or not. Um, so Ghost Rider Collection, uh, the two Ghost Rider films. Uh, the first one was pretty good. The second one, not so much. But maybe I'm thinking if I give it a watch, after the, since such passage of time, um, it'll be pretty okay, or it'll be better for me. Of course, there's also that the, the um, possibility that rewatching it after so much time, I could probably think it think it sucks even worse. <laughs> um, so I guess we'll find out. And next we have the two movie Airplane, Airplane 2, the sequel collection. Um, I've seen both of these and I like both of these so I'm glad to have them in one set. Um, I never had either one of these individually so glad to have them in a set like I said. Um, and there's actually commentary on these uh, by the directors and the writers um, and uh, 
deleted scenes, interviews, trivia tracks, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, that's, I can't wait to uh, relive those. Next, we have a double feature, a Van Damme double feature um, of The Order and Nowhere to Run. Um, I can't remember ever seeing either of these, so this will be fun for me to go through and watch. Um, next we have a triple feature. Um, P.S. I Love You, The Lake House, and The Time Traveler's, Time Traveler's Wife, which is easy for me to say. Again, can't wait to go through and, uh, watch these. Alright, next we have the Speed and Speed 2 uh, dual pack. Um, these are, the first one is um, excellent, the second one most people shit on, but I actually like the first, uh, the second one better than the first one. Uh, you can land base me for that later. Um, but yeah, so I'm glad to have these. It'll be fun to go back and relive these. Uh, next, Naomi Watts in um, The Shut In. Haven't seen this, don't know what it is. It was a recommendation from our friend, and he was selling it. He gave it to me for five bucks, so there you go. Shut in. I will watch this, and I don't know. I may do a my hero to the movies for this. I haven't decided yet. If you uh, know anything about this, let me know. Uh, next, we have the Ultimate Mummy Collection. This is a uh, Four films. This is The Mummy, The Mummy Returns, uh, The Mummy, uh, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, and The Scorpion King. Um, the only one I haven't seen is The um, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, but these will be, the other three will be fun to uh, uh, go back and relive, and it'll be to be able to watch, see the Tomb of the Dragon Emperor for the first time. Next, we have another triple pack here. Uh, Ghost Ship, Return to the House on Haunted Hill, and House of Wax. Um, of course, now I have to get the, house on, the original House on Haunted Hill. Um, because this is the return of House on, to House on Haunted Hill. Um, again, three movies that I... I know I haven't seen Return to House on Haunted Hill. I saw Ghost Ship... Um, um, when I was a little bit younger. Um, and House of Wax... Um, I don't think I've actually seen, so... This will be fun for me to watch. Uh, let's see. Next, we have Keanu Reeves and Renee Zellweger in The Whole Truth. Heard good things about this. Can't wait to check it out. few going here guys. Next we have Ben Affleck, Gary Sinise, and Charlie Theron, Ranger Games. Again, this is one I've seen but not for a while, so it'd be fun to go back and, and uh, revisit. Next is a sleep is one I haven't ever seen and it was just an this was a Amazon recommendation, and I said, mm, okay, cool, I like kind of Western-themed movies, so this ought to be pretty good, I would think. Uh, 
Brad Pitt and Casey Affleck in the assassination, bleh, the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. Easy for me to say. Uh, can't wait to check this one out. Next, we have a uh, film adaptation of one of Michael Crichton's books, The Andromeda Strain. Yeah, The Andromeda Strain. Um, book's pretty good. Can't wait to watch the movie, see if it's, uh, book's probably better, but, you know, give it a chance. All right. And last but not least, in this 35 pickups of goodness, the P.S. A Day of Resistance to this haul is a movie I saw again. I was younger. I loved it. I always hoped that it would come out with a Blu-ray release, and when it did, I pre-ordered it, and I got it. They came out. Thank you, Amazon. That would be Macaulay Culkin in The Good Son. This movie, when I was younger, it wasn't it level so scary for me, but it did startle me a little bit. Um, this actually came with reversible artwork. Uh, so this is the actual original artwork um, because I like the original artwork better but um, it's got um, interview with the director um, interview with uh, Wendy Crewson interview with uh, Daniel, Hugh, Daniel Hugh Kelly um, interview with uh, David Morse um, Interview with the cinematographer, the reversible art, which I just told you about, and a theatrical trailer. So, can't wait to revisit this and see if it still startles me like it did back then. Alright guys, there you go. Um, that is it. That is 35 Pickups, the August of the Red Blah. Hope y'all enjoyed what you had. If you've seen some of this stuff, let me know. Let's talk about it. If you want me to do specific, um, Mikey goes to the movies for anything, doesn't even have to be from this hall, be from anything, just let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for, uh, fostering creativity, without y'all, I couldn't do what I do, so I appreciate it so much, um, I love y'all, and we will talk again soon, peace.